Hey everybody! Hi, welcome back to my series of 31 paintings for the new year, where I show you a whole range of acrylic pouring techniques. So the one I'm going to do today is a modified um, swipe with silicone. I call it a micro swipe because instead of using a large swipe tool, or even instead of using a palette knife, you use these little little swipers. I use little pieces of plastic. These are pieces of laminator sheets that I just cut out to use. You can use putty knives, you can use playing cards, you can use just random scraps of paper or cardstock or cardboard, but I like these plastic ones. Anyway, micro swipe. So it uses silicone to create the cells. So I've got uh, my my paints today, they're all mixed with Floetrol and then thinned with water. They're sort of a medium thin consistency. Um, they flow, flow pretty well off the stick. Try, try and show you. Of course, whenever I go to show you, that's always when it doesn't cooperate. really is flowing better than it looks. Anyway, medium thin. There we go. Now it's flowing better. Um, so for this, I like to start with, you start with a base coat, which I'm going to use white, and then there's just a small layer of color that I like to put running through the middle, and then you swipe it up and down. Now you could swipe you know, you could do it at the bottom and just swipe up. Um, you could make like a feather design. There's a lot of ways you could do this, but my favorite is just to have a band of color running down the middle that you swipe up and down from. Okay, so I have metallic magenta, uh, this dark purple pansy. I have turquoise, which is really more green, um, and then yellow, and then white. So the white is my base coat. It's maybe a little bit thinner than the other colors, and the white has no silicone. Each color has just one drop of silicone oil in it. White has no silicone. All right, so the first step is to put down your base coat. I would recommend using a fairly neutral, either dark or light, base coat. And for an 8x8 canvas like I'm using, you probably need about 2 ounces of white paint. You do not need as much paint for this application as the usual. Typically I would say for an 8x8 canvas you need 4 to 4.5 four ounces of paint. For, for a micro swipe you really don't need that much. Mostly because the background color doesn't have to be tilted. I've got little lumps of paint that I'm just pulling off. Uh, the background doesn't have to be tilted. You can, you can control how you put that out. And then the little swipes as you do them, those don't get tilted either. So for an eight by eight inch canvas, instead of four to four and a half ounces, I would say probably three to three and a half ounces of which most of that is your base coat. So I'd say two and a half to three ounces of your base coat, and then you just need a tiny bit of each color. But if you don't have enough of each color, it can be hard to pour from the cup, so... It's good to have about half an ounce of each color at the least. I'm just tipping it a little bit to make sure that I have a pretty even layer. I need just a little bit more here, scrape that too thin. Okay, I'm actually going to be doing my micro swipe diagonally. My colors are going to be going this direction, and I'm going to be swiping this way and that way. Um, okay, 
So I'm going to start with yellow and I'm going to try to make just a really thin line of it going from corner to corner. So you start off the canvas and end off the canvas. That way, do you see how over here there's a lot more paint? It's like a big blob that comes out first. Um, so you start off, off the canvas. That way you don't have that big blob of paint in your canvas. All right, I'm gonna do green next, and I'm going to zigzag this just slightly. Okay, now I'm gonna do purple, uh, zigzagging kind of the other direction. And finally, the magenta, which I don't want tons of, so I'm just gonna add it with the stick, actually. Adding your paint in a zigzag helps to make sure that all the colors can be seen. And as you swipe, it'll make this nice kind of variety in what you get. Okay, so we have our base coat, we have our colors. Now we need our little swipe tool. So I have a, a couple of different sizes, um, but I'm gonna be using mostly this kind of medium one, which is about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half wide. So get some paper towels handy, because you'll need to wipe off your swipe tool in between each swipe. Okay. And you can either pull straight or you can kind of wiggle it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna pull straight. I love watching the cells come up doing a micro swipe. So obviously my colors are a little funky, green and yellow and purple and magenta. So it may turn kind of muddy, we'll see. Don't feel like you have to swipe really fast. If you do it slowly, you'll stay more controlled. So there's one side finished, at least finished for now. I don't see any glaring mistakes that I feel like I have to fix. So I'm going to rotate the canvas and do the other side, and then based on how it looks after I've swiped it both directions, I may re-swipe certain areas. My color isn't really going down over the sides much, just a tiny bit, and that's okay with me. So I'll just flip it around. and move my messy paper towel and start again. When you're starting the second one, go basically to where the cells and the bubbles start and pull from there, unless you want a more solid line of color in the middle, in which case start a little bit after that. I don't want a huge solid line of color, so I'm gonna start basically where the cells start and go from there. You don't want to push too hard with your swipers, otherwise you'll scrape the canvas.
then you'll be left with a bare patch. I scraped just a little bit too hard here. So I'm going to have to just add a little bit of white. There you go. Got that covered. The nice thing about doing a swipe like this with silicone is that the silicone makes the bubbles, which cover a lot of mistakes. So if you make a mistake, all you have to do is kind of gently swipe over that area and the bubbles will come and hide a lot of your mistakes. Like here, I got a little too close to the canvas again. So I have finished the first round of swiping and it's looking great. I chose to cover the entire canvas instead of leaving negative space around the outside. If I was doing a bigger canvas, I probably would have left some clean white around some of the edges. But with such a small canvas, I wanted to get as much of that color as I could. So I'm looking through here just to see if there's areas that I don't love. And here's one of them where there was white I guess I didn't have a thick enough band of color. So if there's an area that you don't love, um, take just a little snippet of paper towel. So I've got that and I'm gonna rip it just to be like a tiny little bit. This is like a quarter inch. And then I'm gonna dip it in the colors that I want, which is this green and purple that's over here. And then I'm going to start here and drag it through. Do you see how the bubbles pop up and it just hides? It's a great way of masking um, past mistakes. Once you've used a bit of paper towel, then get a fresh one so that you don't get your colors muddy. Okay, over here we've got a lot of purple, not much white. So I'm gonna get another tiny bit of paper towel. And I'm going to get a little bit of green on it and a little bit of white. And I'm gonna pull here. Here we go. So now it's not that giant block of purple. Another thing you can do, if there's sections of the edge that don't go all the way to the edge, you can take a little wisp of paper towel and feather it out a bit so that it looks like it just kind of faded out on its own. But since I went all the way to the edge, there's not too much of that. You can't see it on this side. The paint came a little bit down, but not much, so I'm just gonna feather it with a paper towel so it look like, looks like it came down more than it did. Okay. I'm super happy with this. Let me show you a close-up. Okay, so I painted this on a diagonal, but I think I'm gonna display it like this, square so that the colors are going diagonally. But check out all these bubbles. These are so cool. So they fade out as they get into the white and then they're extra bright close to the center. That metallic magenta is gonna be amazing when it's dry. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, micro swipe acrylic pour. Um, and come back to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I've got a lot in the works right now. So I hope you'll come back and take a look at them. See you next time.